Bitcoin just crashed down to 19,300. The entire crypto market, in fact, is down significantly the last 24 hours. Guys, today we are going to talk about everything you need to know about the FTX potential insolvency. What's going on? How did two former friends turn into trying to destroy each other on the internet here and actually taking down each other businesses guys i have a lot of things to show you i will go through the rivalry from the beginning until the end i will go through the market i will go through everything you need to know to prepare yourself right now because time is of the essence and for every hour that goes by things are changing rapidly for the crypto space so make sure to stick around watch the entire video Welcome back everybody, my name is Chris, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you are new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. And let's get straight into, first, the charts for Bitcoin here. And what you can see is that we have had a massive pullback here recently, guys. We have actually gone from 21,500 down to 19,300, that's 10%. In just three days so this is a massive pullback for bitcoin and the question is of course is this just the start or is it soon over here well one thing we can see is that we at least found support here of the orange box and we have found support here we did go below it slightly but we didn't close below it instead we're finding support on the bodies of the candle so that is one thing to be on the lookout for but of course although the orange box is very strong here and i do tend to think in general that we're gonna bounce from these levels of course with the current situation going on right now we have to be very careful one thing i will also say is that the uh, one of the bots which as you know had a um, stop loss down below this level actually also got stopped out i do believe it was at profit or i'm pretty sure it was at profit because it had already been making pretty significant gains previously but i just wanted to point that out that that bot has been stopped out and uh, yeah it's very unfortunate that these two billionaires decides to go after each other on the internet here trying to liquidate each other so let's talk about what's going on so the ftx token plummeted as market fears possible Alameda contagion. So of course, if FTX goes down, that has massive contagion on the rest of the market. Now the FTX token was trying to be defended here by FTX. FTX really wanted to keep the price here at $22,000 but ultimately it went down due to people just selling FTX tokens in mass. What's even more concerning though, is that withdrawals from FTX are not going through. It's been more than an hour. And if you check out the withdrawals from FTX, they are only for small amounts. People withdraw in $720, $400, $100. Someone actually withdrew 9.5, not million, $9.5 to try to get something out of FTX here. So things are starting to look uh, pretty bad for FTX. And this is, of course, something I covered a couple of days ago, trying to warn you about this actually being a danger. So I hope that you withdrew your money from the exchange guys while they were still processing withdrawals. So what I do want to know, if you still have money on FTX, let me know that down in the comment section if you are not able to withdraw your money. I would love to know. But let's talk about some of the background. So as part of Binance's exit from FTX equity last year, Binance received roughly $2.1 billion in BUSD and FTT. So they are starting to liquidate these FTT on the open market. How much do they have? Well, one thing we do know for sure is that they have at least $580 million, which they are liquidating on the open market. And why is this very dangerous for FTX? Well, because they had been using, and this is speculation, that they had been using FTT that FTX has as collateral, borrowing against their FTT holdings. So they've been borrowing against FTT and using that money to do things in the crypto market. But of course, if you borrow against an asset, if the asset drops down below a certain level, then you get liquidated, you get bankrupt, you get destroyed. And this is why FTX are kind of in panic mode right now, it seems. This is how the storm broke. A competitor is trying to go after us with false rumors. This is what FTX posted just yesterday. And Binance previously said that a competitor tried to go after us with political lobbyists. Now, we do know that FTX is deep into US politics. He was the largest contributor to the Biden campaign. And what CZ is suggesting here is that he has been trying to get Binance in trouble from a regulatory 
pers perspective by using his political influence, SBF, trying to use his political influence to hurt the Binance exchange. So the feud between these guys have been going on for a long while on Twitter, but it didn't start out like that. Remember, Binance actually kickstarted FTX. Binance was one of the biggest investors into FTX. So it started out well, but I guess that FTX just got very big. He started, uh, Sam here, started to maybe try to actually dethrone Binance here in what Binance sees as in a very bad manner. This is what FTX said yesterday. A competitor is trying to go after us with false rumors. FTX is fine. Assets are fine. Here are some of the details. FTX has enough to cover all client holdings. We don't invest client assets, even in treasuries. We have been processing all withdrawals and will continue to be. Some details on withdrawal speed. You can check out this link. FTX is heavily regulated, even when that slows us down. We have GAAP audits with over 1 billion in excess cash. We have a long history of safeguarding client assets, and that remains true today. I would love it for CZ Binance and if we could work out together for the ecosystem. And this is also what I want to see them working together and trying to resolve these differences because them trying to measure their power on the internet here is just going to drag the entire crypto space down. They are trying to liquidate each other and that's not a good look for the crypto space right now. So what have we seen from CZ? Well, we do know that Alameda actually offered to buy the entire position of FTT from CZ Binance. And uh, Binance replied, do they have or will they buy $580 million worth of BNB? So he is basically in between the lines here suggesting that maybe if FTX actually buys the entire FTT bag that uh, Binance has, which is $580 million, if they buy their entire bag in BNB, they could just swap out those tokens. So we don't have a reply uh, yet from FTX on that matter. However, let's work this out, Yudi Wertheimer says. We can have a Twitter space and we can try to discuss these things. And the SPF actually replied that he would love it if CZ Binance, if they could work out together for the ecosystem. Let's have a Twitter space. I'm in. Let's do it. No reply from CZ. Now I want to go back in history a bit. I want to go back to 2019, where we did have a flash attack on, uh, on the Binance exchange, which actually hurt Binance a little bit because you saw a big wick down here for Bitcoin. So what he said is that a market maker from a smaller futures exchange tried to attack Binance futures platform. No one was liquidated as we use the index price, not futures price for liquidations or innovation. Only the attacker lost a bunch of money and that was that. Remember, FTX had been started by this point. The attacker is a well-known account that trades with Binance and started their own futures exchange a few months ago. This was the second attempt they tried. Shame. So could it have been uh, FTX and Alameda Research who tried to hurt the Binance exchange by liquidating different tokens here on the exchange. Well, we know that FTX and Alameda Research have been doing similar things previously. Remember when Sam used FTT collateral to short Wi-Fi to the ground after Y squeeze and said those who didn't like it were but hurt. Good times. So just like I said, this is why FTX are so concerned about the FTT price going down because they've been using supposedly FTT as collateral, which has a book value of, you know, several billion dollars, but it's very illiquid. So the moment people start selling FTT, well, FTX gets in trouble because they're using it as collateral. And if the price gets low enough, they get entirely liquidated. So they've been using the FTT as collateral and pushing down token prices, destroying projects on their path just to make money. This is the speculation. And not only that, there's all also been this... Uh, Thing between SBF and Binance. This was a tweet that was deleted by SBF, but this is what he said, replying to someone, but also tagging CZ Binance. I'm excited to see him, as in uh, CZ, I guess, wrapping the industry in DC going forward. Uh, is he allowed to go to DC, right? Basically saying, hey, I got the US on my side. I got the US in my pocket in terms of regulators you will not have any influence in the US, CZ Binance. So, of course, this is something that CZ Binance did not like. Also, just to clarify, 
Binance has about $8 billion worth of ETH in our cold wallets. So if FTX tries to pull something, he has enough money to process all of the withdrawals from customers without a problem. This is what he clarified. What we can also see is that Alameda is dumping tokens across the board. One of the tokens is BIT, which is Bybit's token. Bybit, of course, one of the exchanges I'm working with, one of the exchanges I actually like. And you can see that the BitDAO token did see a massive dump here just a little while ago. Since then, the price has recovered. But of course, when you see Alameda Research dumping BitDAO, well, Bybit gets a little bit concerned. Well, how did Alameda get these FTT or sorry, the BitDAO tokens in the first place? Well, they were actually an investor in the BitDAO. And in exchange for 100,000 BitDAO tokens, uh, Buy Bybit actually received 3.3 billion, sorry, 3.3 million FTT tokens. However, they did have a public commitment to not sell each other's tokens for three years, which it seems like FTX are right now breaking, which is of course not a good look. It just amplifies the kind of uh, perception that FTX are in panic mode right now, breaking these agreements and dumping tokens. Well, how are Bybit going to respond to this? As we know, Ben said that uh, SPF actually promised to never dump the 100 million uh, tokens that he owns. Well, he said, the BitDAO community is questioning the sudden dump of Bit tokens caused by Alameda dumping and breaching the three-year contract. We would like to confirm the proof of funds from Alameda. So they want to see where Alameda actually has these tokens and if they have been dumping it or not. And also they have issued a community proposal that if they do not get a response within 24 hours, they are in turn going to dump their FTT bag, or namely, and specifically, 3.3 million FTT tokens. So this, of course, is not something that FTX wants on the back of them trying to defend the, uh, the FTT token here and on the back of them potentially getting liquidated here if Bybit actually dumps the tokens here from FTT. So what do Alameda Research do? This is the beauty about crypto, guys. You see everything on, or you see most of the things happening on the chain. So Alameda Research just withdrew 500 million bit tokens, which is 200,000 roughly from Coinbase. So maybe they're trying to scramble to scrape together the 100 million bit tokens, which they have potentially already sold, but trying to buy that back in order for uh, Bybit to not dump their FTT. So this is where we stand, guys. And I can just say that this is not a good look for regulators. Not only are we, you know, uh, getting in trouble with our trading here because these billionaires are trying to liquidate each other. We're also like from a regulatory perspective seeing two billionaires influencing the, the crypto market entirely just because they want to destroy each other and the price is going down. The regulators are looking at this and this gives regulators a reason to go after crypto, which of course we do not want to see. Guys, it's more important than ever to get a ledger. Right now, you're able to get 10% off buying a hardware wallet to keep your money on a hardware wallet. Be safe, guys. This is why I always preach, get a hardware wallet, get a ledger as soon as possible so that you can withdraw your funds from every exchange, keep it in your own wallet. So get a ledger using this link right here, get 10% off. And of course, be careful, but if you want to trade this volatility, you are able to get up to $10,000 on OKX and up to $8,400 on BitGet. So make sure to use these links right here. That's where we stand, guys. That is where we stand right now. I will keep you updated. Make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.